Woolworths garage with a race car build off. I'm going to get to grips with an engine for my build. I just shit myself. In this episode, I'm not in my workshop, but I'm here with my good friend Paul and this, a Kawasaki ZZR 1400. And as of 2007, the year that this bike was built, it was Kawasaki's most powerful sports bike. With a mind-boggling 190 horsepower and a 0 to 60 time of 2.5 seconds. And Paul actually took it out for a little test drive yesterday. What did you think? It's awesome. Um, 8,000 revs, it kind of comes alive. Um, second gear, I was wheeling. Wheeling at 8,000 revs at 80 miles an hour, this thing is absolutely nuts. And the reason that I'm going to be using it for my dummy vehicle, the engine for my build. Now, before you get your knickers in a twist, this bike is sadly an insurance write off. And yes, I could put it back to its former glory, but that's not what I do. We're all about building extreme machines. So, in this episode, you're going to see us strip the engine out of this and the wiring loop and if we're lucky, give that engine a little bit of a health check. It's time for me, him and this bike to get busy. All we've got to do next is drop the engine out. You said you were going to say something. Um, well, let's do it then. Stop talking about it. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Stop talking about it. Next job, engine's coming out. specialist who's going to build a bespoke wiring loom for the vehicle. Now the engine needs a few modifications but before we do that we want to make sure it's in good health. So we're going to give it a compression check. Paul, what is a compression check and why do we do one? A compression check is a really good way of seeing the internal condition in the engine without actually taking it apart. Yeah. So what we do, we, we put this down in the spark plug on the turn and we turn the engine under the starter and each cylinder will achieve the pressure. What we want to see is each cylinder exactly the same pressure. In practice, we don't want to get that, but anything within 5 psi. So, what does it mean? What does it mean if one of the cylinders has a lower pressure? Um, that means there's a problem with either the valve sealing or the piston movement yeah. sealing on that cylinder. So, we can find out essentially if we've got an issue in one of the cylinders from outside the engine without ripping this thing apart. Right, we're going to do a pressure check on this engine to check its health. You, you get to watch. Okay, that's it. We've finished the compression test and the results were great. 
two of the cylinders had exactly the same compression and the other two were only one or two psi out. So Paul, what does that mean? What it means is, without actually taking the engine apart, as far as we can tell, it's in mechanically sound condition. There you go then, this engine is hopefully mechanically sound. So, all this testing has been a bit of a waste of time because I can tell you, after riding that thing yesterday with that engine in it, it is like being strapped on this side. And there is no finer test than taking something for a spin. Also, you could just hear that this engine sounded really happy. It had a lovely smooth idle, it starts on the button, there's nothing to indicate that there's anything wrong with it at all. So, fingers crossed. Everything is great with this engine. And in the next engine episode, we'll be doing some modifications to this engine and hopefully giving it a bit of a clean. Until then, that's it from me and him. If you like what you've seen, hit subscribe and go and have a good one in your garages. With a pocket of heart If you listen close You can hear him cry Oh Lord Heaven knows We belong Way down below Sing it Oh Lord Heaven knows